Okay, so I had a quick request to do a question that I'm about to share on the screen. I'm just going to do a quick video here. So I'm just doing a Zoom recording, none of my fancy stuff, but it'll still work. I want to make sure you all are prepared as prepared as you can be. So here is the question. So um, I'm going to read it out loud and then I'm going to share some tips and we'll solve it. A person who is 200 centimeters tall casts a shadow that is 40 centimeters um, long. At the same time, a nearby post casts a shadow that is 16 centimeters long. So these questions can be tricky, um, but what I first suggest that you do is to actually draw a diagram. So let's draw the diagram. So here's our person, and they're gonna be um, 200 centimeters tall, and they're casting a shadow. That means there's some source of light behind them, uh, behind the person, and of course the post as well. So that shadow is going to be a uh, six, oh, sorry, it's going to be 40 centimeters long. Okay, so that's that, this is the person. Okay, and then we also have the post, which is a little bit smaller. Sorry, my pen just died there. Give me a quick second. All right, there we go. We also have the post that is smaller. It's only going to be about um, 16 centimeters long, but it casts, oh, sorry, it casts a shadow at just 16 centimeters long. So what we're trying to do is to figure out the height of the post. Okay, so one of the things that can confuse students is sometimes on um, assessments and quizzes, they draw the diagram like this with two triangles inside each other or two versions of the shapes inside each other. I like to draw it separately so we can see what's happening. So with something like this, we're actually just gonna go ahead and use scale factors. So with our scale factors, uh, what we're gonna need to do is to take our new shape, so the dimension of the new shape and divide it by like the OG shape, the original shape. So I'm going to go ahead and say that our new shape is 16 centimeters. And it's going to go with our original shape, which is 40 centimeters. And the trick with this one is you need to be consistent with which dimension you use. So if I chose the 16 centimeters here, I must also choose the 40 centimeters here because those are both talking about the shadows that are being casted. And of course, it wouldn't make sense to talk about height when I don't know what the other height's gonna be. So now I have to decide what our scale factor is gonna be. So when I go ahead and go 16 divided by 40, I'm gonna get a scale factor of 0 0.4. So that means I needed to multiply this number by 0 0.4 to get 16, which makes sense. You're multiplying it by a decimal, so you're gonna get it smaller. That means then in order to find the height of the pole, I also have to multiply the 200 by 0 0.4 to be consistent. So when I do that, I'm going to get 80 centimeters. So this means the height of the post is 80 centimeters. And that's your answer for that one.